Hi, I'm Daryl McLaughlin. I'm the chief of race here at the Lake Louise Alpine Ski World Cup. We are uh, dialed in and ready to go for the men's alpine downhill and super G series here at Lake Louise. The World Cup is, is the, the elite athletes in alpine ski racing and uh, we have uh, typically, you know, sort of the 10 strong alpine nations, but um, in some years we'll have more. We're leading up to the Olympics, obviously, we have a bit more interest from some of the, the smaller nations to try and get their athletes on snow leading up to the games. But the, the overall tour uh, starts uh, here at Lake Louise. It's the only North American uh, ski racing venue that's a member of Club 5. Club 5 was started uh, by the original five classic uh, World Cup ski races. Uh, the course, while it's kind of the same every year, same kind of start, same finish line for sure, uh, depending on the snow conditions that we get, the available snow, the natural snowfall we get, the snow making that we do, we can play with our start area uh, locations. So some years we start a little higher, some years we start a little lower. This year we would be more on the higher side. So uh, coming out of the start at above Sunset Gully uh, and coming down into Sunset Flats, we've had enough snow made this year and the timing has worked out really well so that we've actually changed the set just a little bit from past years. It still has that same directional issues, but we changed the approach into an area where I'm standing right now, which is called uh, Tickety Chutes. And we've got some really good terrain built in where the guys are going to have to certainly be on their toes to get the right line, maintain uh, a good snow contact and get directional for the big Tickety Chutes and the big sweeping left-hander that takes them into Wee Waxy Flats. And often this section can be really a critical section on whether they're going to win or not because they carry speed or they don't carry speed into, into Wee Waxy. It's really exciting for the volunteers, of course, to be race ready more or less two days prior to the event. We're going to hope that we uh, maintain some great weather. Uh, things do look good for the rest of the week to uh, have a, a really successful race series here. If it's a brilliant day like today, uh, it just makes for great, uh, great viewing. There's lots of spots along the course that are great to watch from. Great finish area, large jumbotron down there that people can see the event.